Turning now to weather, New Orleans officials say that they have lost power to the entire city due to Hurricane Ida. Ida has been downgraded to a Category 3 storm with wind speeds still reaching 120 miles per hour. Now, this is a live look from New Orleans tonight. Ida hit Louisiana earlier today with winds up to 150 miles per hour, making it one of the most powerful storms to ever hit the United States. Ida's landfall comes 16 years to the day when Hurricane Katrina ravaged Louisiana and Mississippi, leading to more than 1,800 deaths in the region. Power Outage U.S., which is a national outage tracker, says more than 750,000 people are without power across Mississippi and Louisiana, and those outages are only expected to get worse. President Biden is urging those in the storm's path to take it seriously. The storm is a life-threatening storm. Governor Edwards, an old friend, has characterized it as one of the strongest hurricanes, the strongest in Louisiana history since 1850. And uh, his devastation is likely to be immense. Crews from at least 13 states are on their way to help with the aftermath of the storm, including Indiana Task Force One. Hurricane Ida could have some effects here in the Midwest. Storm Track 8 meteorologist David James is here to tell us if we're going to feel any of these impacts here at home in Indiana, David. Yeah, just maybe a minor uh, effect of maybe a little bit more rain with the next weather system moving through, and it might slow down a cold front that we've been waiting for for a while, but certainly nothing like the effects uh, down along the uh, Gulf of Mexico. Uh, and uh, just west of New Orleans, that's where the uh, low pressure area, uh, the eye of it tracked. Uh, right now they're saying it's about 30 miles west of uh, New Orleans and headed up just a little bit to the east of uh, Baton Rouge if that uh, trend continues. So it'll be moving up to the north and uh, beginning to uh, weaken just a little bit. Of course, it's down from 150 miles an hour to about 115 miles per hour. Now it'll continue to weaken a little bit more tonight as it goes over more land. But you can see where the worst uh, section is right in this area here around the storm where they have the highest wind uh, speeds and also the highest storm surge right in this area. So the hurricane warning in this bright orange, the red area is a tornado watch because they have had some uh, reports of tornadoes right there. Uh, uh, category three hurricane right now just uh, east of Baton Rouge and it's headed to the north and then gradually will curve around to the northeast through uh, Tupelo, Mississippi and the Nashville, Tennessee, uh, staying to the south of us. Now this line here just uh, indicates where the uh, error is in the uh, track could be. It's not indicating where the rain is. But